Good morning, everyone. Welcome to episode 16 of Monday AM Musings. Natalie Bell here, aka Peg City Lovely, as usual, on my way to work, driving with you. Late start this morning. I had to take my son to uh, to school because uh, it's my turn this week, so I had to do that. But man, what a fast and furious week we had last week. It was a short week. So many things happened, um, but it was fun, and it's great, and life is good. Uh, so what's up? So remember I talked to you guys about my rebranding? Well, yes, it's still happening, slow but sure. I finally, finally, finally picked the pictures I need, and the logo is pretty much done. It's, it's coming along. It just takes time because, of course, everything else is happening in life, and uh, this is all stuff I'm doing on my own by myself. Yes, so uh, I'm pretty proud of that. But at the same token, it takes time, right? So I want to make sure it's right. I want to make sure it's perfect. And so, if it takes another month, it takes another month. I'm just uh, excited to see what the end result will be. So last week I posted uh, an interview with Mr. Bill Rancic, who was season one winner of The Apprentice. I am so proud of that accomplishment. So so happy that I got to talk to him and chat with him it was like we we're old friends it really well it felt like that anyway <laughs> I don't know if it felt like that to you guys as listeners but there was also a, a video uh, taken at the same time so you get to see him actually talking uh, to me while I'm on the phone with him so that was awesome and so with that I am now actually doing a podcasting speaker interview schedule um, because I just have so many different opportunities coming up. So I'm looking forward to getting that in place because I don't always have a lot of time to write what I'd like to, but I definitely have a lot of time to talk <laughs> and to record. So my podcasting schedule is coming up fast and furious, and I'm excited to share that with you. What else have we got? So I also posted something about uh, distracted driving. It's a new app. A company in Calgary is uh, the owner and initiator of OneTap. And it's right now only available on um, Android. And so it's coming out for iOS soon. But just to let you know, this is an app that allows you to kind of turn off all notifications, etc., while you're driving, so it reduces tr distracted driving. And I know some people must be saying, well, Natalie, you're here sitting talking to us on YouTube. Yes, I am, but my hands are on the wheel and my eyes are not any different than if I was just regularly driving. I'm talking to you. And if the video shuts off, it shuts off. And if, uh, <laughs> if something happens, it happens. I am not uh, totally distracted. I'll just let you know that. So that's a very good app coming out right now. I know a couple of my friends have already downloaded it, so I'm looking forward to, to their reviews about that. And also, um, I just posted about something super wonderful. I've alluded to it a few times, and that is my 40th birthday coming up, but also our wedding social. I got engaged in April, April 13th of 2013, and uh, of course, lots of craziness happened in the past couple years with my mom passing away and whatnot so we didn't really focus on our wedding because you know we're engaged we love each other it's gonna happen when it happens but now we've decided to uh, have our wedding social and for those of you who are listening who aren't from Manitoba or aren't uh, yeah aren't from Manitoba or Winnipeg a Manitoba social is pretty fun it's really a fundraising party so Regardless if it's your wedding or if you're a community organization or a charity, a, a social, a Winnipeg social, is a, a party to help you fundraise for that event. And I mean, there's mixed reviews, mixed emotions on people about having socials for weddings, but I know what our reasons are, and we have three really big ones, and they're named Kiki, Cece, and Jay. <laughs> When you have three kids and you need some assistance because you want to get married, you gotta gotta get some money in somehow. And it's also a really great way to see everyone because we know not everyone is going to be able to come to the wedding. As well as the fact that it's my birthday, so we need a party, of course. So it's gonna be fun. It's all about music, food, dancing 
prizes, raffles, and uh, it's just going to be a great time, and it's October 24th, so save the date, people. Save the date. It's going to be a blast. I hope to see any and everyone there that I can, because I'm I'm excited to, to, to be doing that and party it up with all y'all. So if you are really curious about what a Manitoba social is, there's a really good website called Socials guide.com and that's socials s-o-s-o-c-i-a-l-s guide.com and it, you can find out all the information about socials and how they work here in Manitoba because a lot of people I know from my family and friends in Toronto they're like what are you talking about but you'll be able to find out what that's all about if you take a look at that website so uh, a few upcoming interviews I'm posting uh, an interview today with Christina Martin. She is a singer songwriter out of Halifax. Her and I did a Skype interview last week, one evening, and uh, we had a lot of fun. And the reason it's taken so long to post it is because there was a lot of editing I had to do. Um, we were just having a little too much fun, and uh, I just wanted to make sure I edited it so that we get to the gist of the interview, um, but still keep uh, our fun uh, chatting that we did within the, the video intact. So, uh, Christina Martin, she's got an album release tomorrow. She's been doing this for a long time. It's her fifth album release, and she's a fun gal. She's awesome. And I believe she knows a few Winnipeggers too, and hopefully she'll be coming out to Winnipeg soon to do a show for us all. It's very uh, exciting to, to, to talk with people who are, have been in the biz and singing songwriting for such a long time and doing well at their craft. And people like that need to be promoted more and have more exposure, and I was very happy to interview Christina. So stay tuned for that later today. Also got quite a few local biz collaborations happening soon. Um, Kristen from Greenwood Naturals, her and I came up with an idea last year and we're gonna get together and, and put that in place. It's gonna be fun. It's kind of like your pop-up shop but uh, in, in a house and it's gonna be awesome. So I'm looking forward to that. There's also my very good friend Nita Sharda from Carrots and Cake. I think I've mentioned her numerous times. She's a registered dietitian and she's going to be working with me on a few projects projects this year as well. And of course, not forget my cousin, Vernus and Marianne Blair of Higher Level Fitness. They do amazing work in personal training and just helping you to know about nutritional counseling and your body and, and the health uh, of your body and how to, to ensure that you're getting all of the right information um, as you're on your fitness journey. And you know, Marianne is a fitness nurse and um, she she knows so much information, it's ridiculous. So I'm really excited to be working with the two of them on a, di a few different series. Um, and it, you know, a lot of these things that I'm working on aren't necessarily to the to something that affects the broader public but or the general public, but it, it's affecting my life. So um, hopefully a lot of people will be able to relate to some of the stories that are coming up that I'm dealing with and uh, with these wonderful people that are going to help me. So those are just three collaborations that will be happening locally. There's a lot other, a lot more in the pipeline, but um, as we get to them, I will let you know. So what else, what else, what else? Okay, so today is a big day because today is National Cupcake Day. Yes, bake those cupcakes, people. You know why? Because you're helping the humane societies across the country to raise funds for animal cruelty awareness. And it's really a great way to get people involved and a great, great, great way to, to fundraise. So I know I posted about it a little while ago, but today is actually the day. So I'm looking forward to checking out different uh, things on Facebook and online of who's baking what and what kind of cupcakes everyone's making today. So get in on that. And then another huge event today that I'm involved in that I'm kind of freaked out about still, but today is the Super B Challenge, and you spell that S-O-U-P-E-R, soup, because myself and seven other participants will be cooking up some soup, and uh, we will be judged, and someone will be crowned Grand Master Super B today. So today it's at the Knox Community Church downtown at 6 p.m., 
please feel free to come down and root all of us on. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be fun. I still won't tell you what my recipe is or what my soup is going to be because that's a surprise. But uh, I think it's really important for everyone to know that the, the Super Bee Challenge is, is all about the Soup Bee. And that's a local organization, nonprofit. They offer healthy meals and job opportunities as well as they invest in local farmers and businesses as well. So let's support the Super, Super Bee Challenge and follow along with the hashtag Super Bee, S-O-U-P-E-R-B-E-E, -E -E, okay? Because that's going on tonight, six o'clock. I hope you guys can come down and make it and cheer me on. There's gonna be some other folks there too. It's gonna be videotaped, everything. I know Ian McCausland will be there. And I'm really excited. I know there's uh, quite a few sponsors, Manitoba Canola Growers. There is London Drugs, Avon Canada, Cutco. Um, I know I'm going to forget a whole bunch, but uh, I'll make sure to put it on the post so that you know once I get, uh, once I get this posted. What else this week? Holy, it's a long video this week, hey? Um, February 25th, Wednesday, uh, is Pink Shirt Day. So I don't know about you, but I'll be wearing my pink shirt because that shirt should say enough that we want to stop bullying, right? Yes. So pink shirt day, February 25th. Please use the hashtag pink shirt day. There's also the website pinkshirtday.ca. I know here in Winnipeg, you can get the special t-shirts at London Drugs. And so I know I'll be dressing it up on Wednesday with my pink shirt and I hope you will be too. Okay, gosh, moving along, moving along. Okay, so we're in the last week of February, so clearly it's near March, and I think I've mentioned this before as well, March is Nutrition Month, and so lots of different things happening with that. As I said, I'm working on a collaboration with Nita from Carrots and Cake, and we're gonna come to my house and do a pantry reset. I'm kinda scared, actually, but uh, she's gonna come and help me figure out what the heck's going on in my pantry and uh, let's get March off to a great start for nutrition. I'm also gonna be partnered up with Subway Canada with their Commit to Fit and their uh, Nutrition Month challenge as well. So I'm looking forward to that. And um, what else? Spring break's coming up, um, Easter's coming up, lots of great things happening, and I don't want to take up too much time because, you know, we got to go. But, um, oh yes, and I received the Nikon D3300 camera for review, and I'm evaluating it for the next month. I didn't even have a chance to touch it yet. My family has been all over that, and so I'm too busy learning the tutorials to make sure I know what the heck I'm doing before I uh, <laughs> venture out and use it but I'm very happy that it came with a wireless adapter because I'll be able to update and post to Instagram Facebook etc directly from the camera with my awesome shots so I'm happy about that and like I said there's a cool contest coming up soon photo contest from Peg City Lovely along with my uh, evaluation of this this camera so I think that's enough for today. I chatted your ear off and I'm almost at work. So thanks for taking the time to listen to me and spend the time with me this fine Monday morning. And you know, I have to end with a wonderful weekly quote. And that is, if you look at what you have in life, you will always have more. But if you look at what you don't have in life, you'll never have enough. Ooh another good one right that is by our very good friend Oprah <laughs> who clearly has enough but uh <laughs> thought I'd share that anyways have a fabulous week be good to each other live love laugh and I will see you next time don't forget to support your local uh humane society with national cupcake day and for those of you in Winnipeg come on down to Knox Community Church this evening six o'clock for the Super Bee Challenge all right see you guys bye